is nothing quite like the buzz of a big city on fight night. We are in the Golden State, and the world-famous Octagon is open for business. On February 17th, the worldwide MMA leader returns to Anaheim, California. In an arena that has hosted many historic UFC shows, one way or another, we are in for more UFC history. With a stacked card, headlined by one of the greatest featherweight champions of all time. He is such a special talent. This guy just showed that he's next level, especially at featherweight. At 145 pounds in the UFC. He dropped him, that's it! Australia's Alexander Volkanovsky is undefeated. He has incredible cardio, legitimate knockout power. Are you kidding me right now? All he wants to do is seek and destroy. Increasingly dominant with each defense of his title. Championship medal from Volkanovsky. Prime to extend his legendary run. My purpose is fighting. What else can you say about the pound for pound king? And this next part of my story is going to be biblical. I'm the champ. I'm the king of this division. No one was ever stopping me. Ah! But a new challenger has emerged from the shores of Alicante. Huge combination for the Spaniard. Known as El Matador. Spain's Ilya Taporia stands at 14-0. There's a reason why he's undefeated. The guy goes out there and gets it done, and he gets it done by finishing people. He closes the show. The guy's a killer. With 12 finishes and sights set on the featherweight belt. Soy muy peligroso. The game plan was simple. Come in and take his head off. Unbelievable knockout. That was the game plan. This man is truly frightening. Still undefeated. Tienes que tener cuidado en cada segundo que pasas conmigo en el octavo. No one can match my level of skill. I come to take that US belt. Oh! And I want to show Alex when his world's gonna end and mine's gonna start. Ilya been running his mouth. If he wants to keep going, I'll show him what's up and I'll squash him too. In the co-main event, Brazilian powerhouse Paulo Costa returns. Here he is. Rejuvenated, revitalized. This is a knockout artist who throws bombs. In a high stakes bout with former middleweight champion Robert Whitaker. You see the fire that burns to become the champion of the world once again. I'm not going anywhere. Plus, surging 135 pound contender Marab Dabalashvili. This is a force to be reckoned with. It's exciting to watch people melt under the pressure of Marab. Puts his nine-fight win streak on the line against the once simultaneous bantamweight and flyweight champion, Henry Cejudo. Triple C, Olympic champion, flyweight champion of the world, bantamweight champion of the world. I have the greatest combat athlete of all time, Henry oh! Cejudo! But before the best in the business touched down in SoCal. Ching Ching. Ching Ching? Nice, darling. First. <laughs> get ready. 37 left. Yeah, For UFC 298. Countdown. From the RAC Arena here in Perth, Western Australia, this is UFC 284, Lakashev versus the featherweight world beater Alexander Volkanovsky, who tonight will try to break through and hit that rarefied air as a simultaneous two-division UFC champion. For UFC featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovsky. This guy is the featherweight king by far. It's like not even close right now. Stop it. The year 2023 was highlighted by a pair of lightweight title shots. He knows exactly what he's got to go do. He knows exactly the challenge that he's up against with Islam Makhachev. Against the division's champion, Islam Makhachev. He's one of the best fighters on planet Earth, if not the best. Oh! There's the tap! The first of which was a close decision loss right at home in Australia. Oh! Big stick with a left hand by Volkanovski. And now he drops Volkanovski. Oh! At one point, we will see that rematch. 
I was definitely thinking of the rematch after our first fight. <laughs> it was always something that I believed was going to eventually happen. We do it again? Yeah, of course. Yes. Maybe I'll do that. I didn't think the rematch was going to come that quick. Charles Oliveira, the lightweight challenger to Islam Makachev's throne. He's out of UFC 294, but Oliveira out. Alexander Volkanovsky in. But then as soon as I got that phone call, we flipped the switch and it was game on. The question beckons, without a training camp, can Alexander Volkanovsky do enough to become a simultaneous two-division champion? I thought I could go out there and shock the world. Oh! That'll do it! And still! But we didn't. He called me, and that's the game. biggest losses of my career. But I'm still the champion of the featherweight division. Returning to the division he has ruled for nearly four years, Alexander Volkanovsky looks to continue his case as the greatest featherweight of all time when he faces Jair Rodriguez. Between a pair of attempts at seizing lightweight gold, Volkanovsky would fulfill his obligation to the featherweight belt in a summer headliner against Yair Rodriguez. And he looks to add to the legacy as the greatest featherweight champion in the world. I know I need to focus on defending the belt and really setting a statement. Rodriguez oh! got a touch on the way in! Coming back down to 145, can you imagine all the strength he put on to go up? He must feel like a bear to these guys at featherweight. And that was one of the most impressive things about the Islam fight. The fact that Volkanovski was able to grapple with him successfully, which is insane. Oh, oh he's stung him. Big right for Volk! Oh, Rodriguez really hurt now, covering up. Massive takedown transition. Volk is going for it. The victory in Las Vegas. That'll do it! And still! Would extend Volkanovski's undefeated featherweight run in the UFC. What else can you say about the pound-for-pound pound king? And the champ has no intentions of slowing down. Fifth straight featherweight title defense. John, look there. The boy is in his face. Oh, 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 when you see how Ilya Topuria fights, I mean, that guy is an absolute animal. Defeating Volkanovsky is the desire of every featherweight fighter on the planet. And while no man to ever test the throne has been able to seize Volkanovsky's belt, Undefeated challenger Ilya Tapori feels destined to become the first. Ahora mismo, yo soy el mejor. En mi división, no hay nadie como yo. No es que piense que voy a ser una superestrella. Es que lo soy. Now a permanent resident of Alicante, Spain. Tapuria's 27-year journey began the day he was born in Germany. To Georgian parents in constant search of a better life. En aquel entonces era un poco difícil tener oportunidades en Georgia. decidieron venirse a España y cuando cumplí 15 años ya finalmente me pude unirme a ellos. Desde nacimiento es algo diferente. Él está trabajando mucho, estudiando mucho. Y resultado sí que tenemos. Georgia practicaba la lucha greco-romana y cuando llegamos aquí queríamos seguir con la misma disciplina. 
me formé en el gimnasio Clima Club, donde impartían también clases de las artes marciales mixtas. 30. Desde el primer día que entré, no sé, una energía que se apoderó de mí. Tiempo. Ese era mi destino. Before he turned 20 years old, Ilya Taporia was finishing professional MMA fights. He's out. He's out. Taporia. This is exactly where the Georgians wanted it. Wow. And it wasn't long before the phenom from Spain burst under the UFC featherweight scene. And here we are, 8 0, a legit prospect out of Spain. Very calm, collected. You wouldn't know it was his UFC debut. Oh, lovely suplex there. As Taporia is putting on a bit of a grappling masterclass right now. It's just unloading on David Jackson right now with all combinations. Oh! Wow! The walk-off KO for Ilya Topuria. He just chopped him down like a tree. We have never seen him get beat. Ilya Topuria has knocked Ryan Hall out cold! He carries this intensity about him that's a little bit different than most of these young fighters. The game plan was simple. Come in and take his head off. Oh! Oh! oh, oh no. Whoa! No. Whoa. No. He is sure that at some point he will wear a UFC championship belt. What a right hand knocks Mitchell down! And why would you not be sure? Still undefeated! When you possess these types of skills. Oh, oh, oh heavy! Huge combination for the Spaniards! This is an outclassing of Tapori, if we're gonna be honest, on the feet. A, a boxing masterclass. What a statement. No one can match my level of skill inside the cage. Oh, oh, that uppercut was heavy. Back to the canvas now. I prove it all the time I step inside the cage, and I prove it once again tonight. Hulk wants new challengers. Ilya Topuria has arrived. I come to take that USA belt, and I want to show Alex when this world's going to end, and mine's going to start. Now with his professional record extended to a perfect 14-0, Aurea's shot at featherweight king Alexander Volkanovsky can no longer be denied. And is now set for February 17th in Anaheim. Este es mi momento. Estoy seguro que puedo noquear a Volkanovsky. into a February 17th featherweight title defense. Australian champion Alexander Volkanovsky identifies mistakes made in preparations for his last outing. A short notice shot at the lightweight belt. Alexander Volkanovsky is that guy. The question beckons without a training camp. Can that guy do enough to become a simultaneous two division champion? For that second Islam fight, I was coming off surgery and newborn and that, so I didn't have any fights in line. This was biting off a lot to travel from Australia. You're 181 pounds when you get the call. Nothing amounting to a training camp. Had a surgery in July. I was drinking a little bit, too much. Usually I'd be in the gym more, be a lot more professional and disciplined, and I wasn't. I think the entire fight game has buckets of respect for Volkanovski stepping up, but it did not go as well. Um, I'm the best version of myself inside and outside of the cage. When I have real structure and I'm in camp, that's why you've seen an emotional side of me after that. But I wasn't drinking, I wasn't trying to go. Just drinking every day. Sorry. I took the fight, I was thinking it was the only way to step in the gear as well. Literally drank every day, and then I just had to stand myself out of it. I thought this, is, this was the fight, this was it. This is why, I thought that was the reason why I came. So I'm like, 
you know, it's meant to be. Main purpose in life is obviously right now, it's obviously my family, my fighting, and when I'm not, I can just lose the clock, so I to take a I just, now I just feel stupid. Hey, you got it. Not at all. I'm more disappointed of who I was going into that fight rather than making that decision. For Volkanovsky, a return to form is not only motivated by the agony of recent defeat, it's driven by an even higher purpose. My family this is why I put so much pressure on myself. But that's only because I want to be the best version of a father I can be, the best version of Africa I can be. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. I want to turn up no matter what I do in life, whether it is in the gym, whether it is in the octagon, whether it is at home. Champions build in the gym. Time to work. So I'm happy to hold myself accountable and be the best version of myself inside and outside of the octagon. Oh, there you go, darling, see? Nice, Ariana. That's better. Swap. Oh, you're close, darling. That's why I need to win. Well done. Every time I'm in there. Nice time involved. You ready? You bring that belt back home to your family, and that means everything to me. Second time to work. Let's finish it, boys. Finish strong. Last round. There's always going to be things getting thrown at you, no matter what you do in life. Good control, Volk. So you want to be able to deal with them. To be resilient, disciplined. It's getting flat again, Volk. Flatten them out again. Never give up. 15. Ready? Nice, darling. Challenge yourself. All those things. Yoo! Time! It can get difficult, but you've got to be willing to carry that burden. Half a world away, Volkanovsky's UFC 298 opponent, Ilya Teporia, also shares his experience as a world-class athlete with those who matter most. La conocí allá en en una cena. Yo la he visto y dije, qué chica más guapa. Uno de los mejores regalos que me trajo Dios. Chin chin. Chin chin. I actually didn't follow the sport or anything like that. Buah. Con el toque de la manzana le da. ¿Verdad? Buah. Then I was seeing the videos of him on YouTube. I was like, this is another person. Like, how is it possible? He's so sweet. And then he's almost killing people. I was like, out of all the things that you can do in this life, why would you do that one? And he's like, because I'm the best, I never get punched. And I was like, okay, perfect. Gracias. Me ayuda muchísimo. La verdad, me ayuda con muchas cosas. Ella me ayuda a desarrollar la mejor versión de mí mismo. Luego la verdad, por favor. Dile al chef que es un crack. It's Ilya's dream to become the world champion, and I have zero doubts about it. It's already done. It's just a matter of time. With support systems in place, the 27-year-old contender enters the February 17th title bout in the prime of his career. Ideal circumstances for attempting to become the first man to ever defeat Volkanovski at 145 pounds. A mí él no se puede, no hay excusa que pueda conmigo, yo lo hago, ya. Trabajo incansablemente duro. Listos, tiempo. Y nunca subestimo ningún reto que la vida me da, en nada.
Por eso mismo el 10 de febrero voy a convertir en el mejor del mundo. Although mixed martial arts is practiced across the globe, the sport is yet to establish a larger presence in certain regions. And while southern Spain is beginning to show promise as an emerging hotbed, elite level training may have never existed here at all, were it not for the Clement brothers. Eh, lo tenemos acá en Alicante y estamos acá desde el año 2002. Cuando llegamos acá no existía eh, otro arte marcial que no fuera karate o judo, ¿no? judo. y nosotros implementamos el jiu-jitsu, el grappling, el MMA, y llegamos como una revolución. En el momento que nosotros llegamos, solamente estaba Fabricio Verdún en Madrid. Entonces eh, fuimos como los pioneros, no había campeonatos, no había nada. Entonces fuimos creando algo de la nada. Estamos trabajando con Ilia ya hace 11 años. Él llegó a nosotros cuando tenía 15. Él empezó y no controlaba nada. Yo me acuerdo de verlo pelear con mi hermano y que mi hermano solo le peleaba en jiu-jitsu utilizando los pies. Y él no podía ni pasarle la guardia, lo finalizaba. Y es hoy en día que nos pasa por arriba como una pisonadora. There is no better man to lead the charge for Spanish MMA than El Matador. And it begins with Ilya Teporia's title bout against Alexander Volkanovsky on February 17th. Rita. MMA in Spain is si es un deporte popular. Está creciendo todos los días. Y yo creo que después de convertirme campeón del mundo, ya acabará estallando. Tiempo. Ahead of the title bout on February 17th. Teporia and champion Alexander Volkanovsky briefly touched down in Las Vegas to promote the highly anticipated event. And although the business trip takes place mid-training camp, the fight capital is an ideal destination to stay on track. Well looked after when you come to Vegas, the home of the UFC. Where you go first? Okay. It's always good to take advantage of their facilities when in town. I don't get to get here too much, so when I'm here, I'll make the most of it. To prepare for Teporia, Volkanovski continues methods that readied him for multiple lightweight title bouts last year. Ah, I always like training with bigger guys. Craig Jones, one of the best grapplers in the world. And there he gets it, he gets the top. And dominance continues for Craig Jones. So if you're over here, you throw a head like always. Okay, yeah, I end um, with this leg. That's good. Well, I'm a leg. You can whichever one you can. And you've got Kevin Gisette, who's in the welterweight division. Oh, man. This is tight. Kevin and They put me in a lot of positions that is going to be harder for all the people my size. He's only a featherweight. Obviously, we're a lot bigger than him, but he's still a really tough round for us. 
I've trained with a lot of UFC guys. Definitely one of the strongest physically pound for pound guys I've felt. I can't go out there and think just because I've been winning at featherweight and defending a belt, no one stands a chance. I can't have that mentality. And you won't see me turn up in the gym like I always have. What got me here today? I'm sure there's people thinking, is this the decline? But when I've got a chip on my shoulder, I've got something to prove. When people doubt me, that's where I shine. Thank you, guys. Thanks, please. Appreciate it. When training commences, promotion intensifies. Rise up, it's a showdown. As Volkanovski shares the stage with the young adversary, aiming to take everything he has. Ilya Teporia is a real assassin. Ilya Teporia, an undefeated, young, hungry prospect trying to come for my belt. He's the best. He's next level which is just the perfect opponent for my story. And I believe I go out there and I take him out on February 17th. I just don't think he's as good as he says he is. I believe that I'm gonna be teaching him a lesson. He's just a truly special talent. The greatest featherweight champ of all time. Too good! You'll see me as the dominant champ that I've been. Wow, ragdolls him. He really believes that he can whip anybody. Él se va a enfrentar a, a un luchador diferente, con unas habilidades diferentes, con unas ganas diferentes y con un destino diferente. Yo me encuentro al 100% y en febrero me tengo que ocupar de este hombre. It's the undefeated challenger from Spain. He is sure he will wear a UFC belt. And the all-time great champion from Australia. That'll do it! And still! Toe-to-toe -to -toe for the featherweight belt in Anaheim. On February 17th.